Uh, welcome back. So today we're going to be starting our new project. So the first thing you want to do, I'm using Unity 2018.1.5. I haven't upgraded to 2018.2 yet, but you can use pretty much any version of Unity back to even the 5 series to do this if you want to. So don't feel like you need to have one of the 64-bit versions. You can use one of the older versions. So we're just going to go to a new project. Oops, I don't want to open. I want to go to new. Um, maybe. Hello? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, the template we want to use is 2D. We don't have to use Unity Analytics. Choose where you want it to go. And I'm going to call this uh, YouTube Zelda-like. And I'll just create my project here. There's my two kittens back there. If you couldn't see, uh, I don't know if I've shown them on the video before. So yeah, I'll meet you back here once everything's loaded. All right, so when you get your project open here, let's go about setting up some of our um, settings for this. So for the moment, I want to target this to PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. However, we'll talk about how we can add Android and iOS support later. So I just want to make sure that my platform is set for that. Uh, I want to go to my game, and I'm going to choose my resolution here. I'm just going to go with a default 16 by 9, so it's in widescreen. Um, it doesn't exactly look accurate. If we wanted it to look accurate, we'd choose like 4x3. Actually, now that I think of it, I like the 4x3 better. We can just have bars on the other side of the monitor if we played in that. Um, so I've got my uh, display set up. We're going to go to Scene, uh, and now let's make a folder for our art. So we're going to create a new folder, Art, and then while we're doing folders, we might as well create some others. So another folder for Scripts. And another folder for um, animations. And that's good for now. Actually, one more. I'm going to create a new folder for tiled maps. All right, cool. Now, uh, in my art folder, I'm going to grab wherever I unzipped that um, asset pack I linked you to last time. And just pull it directly into my art folder there. I'm going to open that up, and this entire tile set is 16 by 16. So I'm going to grab all of the art and change the pixels per unit to 16. And then I'm going to apply that very fast. All right, I'm going to go to the character sheet. I'm going to go to Sprite Editor, and we're going to have to change this a little bit, but for now, uh, first thing before we do that is we change it to multiple apply that, and now we go to the Sprite Editor and choose the Slice menu. For the top half of this, it's laid out in um, 16 by 32 cells. For the bottom half, it's wider, but we'll get to that when we get to attack animations. So go to Slice. Our type is going to be uh, grid by cell size. Our X part of the grid is 16, and our Y part of the grid is 32. And then Slice. And there we go. It works perfectly for all the sprites. You can zoom in here and see that bounding box, except for this one. Um, oh yeah, and there's some color issues here too. Let's fix that. So go ahead and click Apply. Uh, to fix the color issues, uh, you want to go to our uh, filter mode. I want to put point no filter. And then for compression, I want to go to high quality and apply all of those settings. All right, so I'm going to grab our character. I'm going to pull him into the scene here. And I'm going to rename it as player. OK, and once I do that, that's it for this video. I know it's kind of on the short side, but uh, the next video movement is going to be a little bit longer. So I didn't want to have this be part of that video, too. Uh, you can find links to all of the assets I'm using in the description down below. You can also find a link to my Twitter page and my Discord server, where I'm chatting pretty much every day. If you want to leave me any questions, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, if you learned anything, feel free to give me a like. Um, you can still give me a like if you want to. They don't tax them. So yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day.